Que es la que hay? Welcome back to Tony West DIY. My name is Wes and I'm freaking excited because this is the first video in Texas and because today I got a closing date for the house so I don't have to be in a small apartment with a small garage and all my household goods in boxes. I wanted to install a lot of parts that I received when um, I was about to move from Maryland to here. So today we're going to start installing some of them. Right now here I'm in the garage trying to find the tools that I might need for installing those parts and hopefully I don't forget anything. The RX-7 is not here, the RX-7 is in a, a storage so I don't have to go back and forward. Without further ado, let's get started. Here it is, it says several parts that I received. It's a lot of carbon fiber. Let's see here, most of this stuff I received it when I was ready to ship the car. So I wasn't able to install it and I was worried to get them damaged on the moving. So I got Super Con Arts RE MMEA. This one kind of got scratched. So I think I saw a couple scratches. I might just send them down and then uh, put another coat of clear. I was able to find the speaker covers. I'll be honest, I don't know if there's a part to price ratio. I don't know if that exists, but if it exists, this is the most expensive part in the car so far. And uh, it's cracked. So, um, I just didn't want to leave the speakers. Uh, this one needs paint. Um, I didn't want to leave the speakers uncovered like that. And it's been years since I can find uh, interior parts. I was able to get them, get this. For those holes as well, these ones are not black, but I might paint them. This is what I found though. If you own FD, you know that interior parts are expensive and as hell and hard to find. So with this, I'll be able to get done with that. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with this. I think there's the piece should be around, but this thing I've been everywhere so and then I got the in order to install that I need to install the diffuser the diffuser is still in the box where the other garage is so I won't be able to install it in this video and that's basically these are the mounts for that these are the fins inner fins and then the super canards it goes that's why I remove the mud guards or mud flaps or whatever it's called but what we're gonna start today is this beauty. Here it is, the center console that's gonna match the door seals. And holy cow, look at this. This is gorgeous. This one has the clips already. Um, I already know they're gonna have issues to put one of them because of the leather skin that I put on that center console. And that one, I think that it's not gonna go in. We'll see how I'm gonna fix it. And then we're gonna install the RE Amemi steering wheel. So let's get started. <music> Man, it's freaking hot in Texas. Holy cow. It's gonna look good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> All right. The whole center console is dressed. And fit man here is not that great. But you won't see that 
Um, I don't know what's going on here that it doesn't match the the holes for the screws. You see, so something is heating, or or it's supposed to be trim, I guess, in this area to let it um, go up like a half an inch or some shit. But here you go. It's, this is supposed to be like that. So, yep. This is how it's gonna look. Other than that, everything is fine. Issue is now is that you can tell, you know, every single hole matches except this one, which is not a big deal, but this one, that's gonna be bad. And then this is gonna be thicker because it has the skin. So I don't know how to, with a knife or a blade, cut that part in order for the clip to go in. And then this, remove the glue and then push it outwards. We'll see. All right, that was easy. So now let's install the speaker covers and the seat belt cover. I think I just had to remove that bolt. Hopefully I have the uh, tool for that, the right size, and then figure out how I'm just gonna put that inside of there. Let's keep going. Check this out. I don't know if you can tell that I'm melting, but Jesus, Texas is hot as hell. All right, and that's how it's gonna look. It's not hard at all. Just needed to remove the bolt. This has, um, not gasket, but these things. Oh shit, well, here we go. Just had to remove them so you're able to remove the bolt. And then, if you're confused which side is which, it will tell you left and right so let's install the other one um so let me actually finish this side of the speaker and then we move to the other side the same rh then i'm assuming this go first you slide it up and then the two clips hopefully this doesn't break because again I paid too much for this that I almost regret paying it. So let's see how it looks so I can feel that I did the right move. Hell yeah. One down, one more to go. All right, and that's how it's gonna look. Actually, the broken piece, it was hanging behind the cover, so I was able to put it, and from here, you can't tell. You can't tell from an airplane, so. Right. I don't like how this one looks. Oh, like, it looks like rusty, whatever. So I might just, later on, clean them and paint them. But, oh my God. Now I just have to deal with this. Um first i want a bin but i want to put a subwoofer here and i don't want to put it in the trunk so i might just create my own enclosure um and then wrap it in carpet or some shit. but i like how it looks man if you've been long enough in the channel you will know that this car was gutted completely gutted and look how it looks now all the plastics oh my god it looks like a car now i'm freaking excited all right Let's just go and install that steering wheel and should be ready for tomorrow's Carson Coffee. We need to get that here. However, uh, the one that I have, there's two or three bolts that I don't know if they put Loctite, but they don't want to come out. So I'm just gonna drill them and then put new bolts. Let's keep going. All right, this is the steering hub, I think it's called. And I have to remove, drill these three bolts i don't know if you see them um they didn't want to come out and um one of the reasons why i'm replacing the steering wheel 
is because I was trying to make the one I had in carbon fiber, but I couldn't finish it um, because the company shipped the car and uh, that didn't dry and uh, yeah, it was a shit show. I'll explain to you guys later because I'm still planning to finish that steering wheel and I'll show you everything I'm done, but that's gonna be another video. Um, here, what I'm seeing is that it's not flush um, and it might scratch the back part of the steering wheel and uh, to be honest i don't want to do that and i forgot the dremmer so let's see how can i just remove that lip there and also i have to remove this horn see how can i do it because i have this one hell yeah if you know you know this is gonna give a tasteful uh, touch in the interiors of the car without carbon fiber, 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 carbon fiber the world. And here it is. Hell yeah. That's what we're talking about. Still missing to tie the um, bolts because I had the wrong Allen key uh, and I have to install there's a um, bracket that holds this in place. I think I have it on the luggage. But holy cow, man, it looks nice. Check this out. I might change the hub because you see this steering wheel comparing with the other one. The other one was flat. This one has like, it comes forward like probably three inches. So I might change it for the short hub or um, the tilted one because now it's gonna be even worse to get out of the car but man this looks amazing i'm gonna wrap this up here because it's really really hot in the next one we're gonna start installing the diffuser and uh i might sand them down put another clear coat and then install them there you go like comment subscribe thank you for the support god bless until next one <laughs>